family fun worship. Ashton and Indy and I are so glad that you're joining us. Wherever you are and whenever you are watching this, know that you are not alone and that Jesus loves you. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Amen. Amen. In today's episode, we're going to talk about generosity. Pastor Carmen is going to tell us a story about a woman who gave everything she had to God. I can't wait to hear more. But before we begin, let's start with a song. Hey, kids. Um, this one is Mighty to Save. I really like this one. Um, I definitely did it when I was a kid, you know, back when I was your age. <laughs> anyway, um, this one's like a little bit slower, but it's, it keeps going, so it's good. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a Savior, the hope of nations. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. All my fears and failures Fill my life with I give my life to follow Everything I believe in Now I My God is mighty to save, He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave, Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light and let the whole world see, it's singing for the glory of the risen King. Shine your light and let the whole world see We're singing for the glory of the risen King Say, He can move the mountain My God is mighty to save He is mighty to save forever Author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. For my Savior, you can move the mountains. God, you are mighty to save. You are mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, you rose and conquered the grave. Yes, you conquered the grave. All right, kids, join me for the prayer of approach. Draw us close, Holy Spirit, as the scriptures are read and the word is proclaimed. May there be one voice we hear today, the voice of truth and grace. Amen. Amen. 
Hi, it's Pastor Carmen again, and I'm here to read today's Bible Gospel lesson. We're going to use the World Story Bible today, and today's lesson comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verses 41 through 44, and it's called the Widow's Offering. It says, Jesus pointed across the temple. See that man by the treasury, he asked. The disciples saw him. The man strutted around and swished his fancy robes. This rich man looked pleased with himself. Then he pulled a bag of coins out of his robe. He looked around to make sure people were watching. I'm sharing my money, he announced in a loud and proud voice. He dumped a handful of coins in the offering box. Jingle, jangle, crash! The coins dropped noisily into the box, and everyone looked. The man beamed. He was so proud of himself. He was very pleased and happy. Jesus pointed again. He said, See that widow over there by the treasury? The disciples looked. Where was she? She disappeared. But then they saw her. A small woman in plain robes slipped between people to get to the offering box. The widow dropped two small coins in the offering box. Clink, clink. Then she slipped away. Did you see the difference? asked Jesus. The rich man gave a little handful out of his large bag of money. He wanted everyone to see him. The widow gave all of her money, two coins. She didn't want to be seen. When you share, be like the widow. Give quietly. Don't try to impress others. That's the kind of sharing I like to see. This is the word of the risen Christ. Thanks be to God. So now it's time for our lesson. Each Sunday in our worship service, we take an offering. Raise your hand if you think Jesus likes it when we put a lot of money in the offering plate. I see, I see a lot of hands up. Raise both hands if you think Jesus likes it when you put a little bit of money in the offering plate. Oh, oh, yeah, I see a lot of hands for that one too. You see, it's all about perspective. The Bible says one day Jesus went to the temple and sat down near the place where the offerings were being given. He sat and watched the people as they came by and put in their offerings. Many rich people dressed in fine robes came and put in a lot of money. But then a poor widow came by and put in just two small coins. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, This woman has given more than anyone. The others gave out of their wealth, but this woman gave all that she had. So giving a little bit is more than giving a lot? Does that sound confusing? Well, you see, Jesus is more interested in what is in the heart of the giver than he is in the size of their gift. The widow's gift meant a lot more because she gave everything she had. I have a small coin purse with me today. And I'm going to show you how much money I have in it. Can you see? That isn't very much money, is it? It's not even enough to buy a candy bar or a pack of gum at the grocery store. It's 57 cents. 
But this 57 cents can remind us of a little girl named Hattie and how her gift of 57 cents helped to build a great church. One Sunday morning, the pastor of a church went outside to find a group of children who were unable to get inside for Sunday school because the building was too crowded. One of those children was six-year-old Hattie. When the pastor saw Hattie, he picked her up and carried her into the Sunday school class where he found her a seat. He told Hattie he hoped that someday the church would be able to build a building large enough for all the children. Two years later, Hattie passed away and went to live with God and the pastor preached at her funeral service. After the service, Hattie's mother handed the pastor a small purse containing 57 cents. She said Hattie had been saving her pennies to help the church build a new Sunday school building. The pastor took the 57 cents back to his church and told the people about Hattie. The people were so inspired by Hattie's gift that they gave faithfully until they built a wonderful new building, big enough for all the children who wanted to attend. I'm sure Jesus would say that Hattie gave more than anyone to build this great church. Her heart was pure and she gave everything she had. Will you pray with me? Dear Father, everything we have is a gift from you. Help us to remember to give back to you with a cheerful heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is a Matt Redmond classic. Um, blessed be your name. This one's really good. I like this one a lot. Yeah. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful. Where the streams of abundance flow, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, all. Turn back to praise When the darkness closes in, Lord Still I will say Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be your name Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be your glorious name Blessed be your name When the sun's shining down on me When the world's all as it should be Blessed be your name Blessed be your name On the road marked with suffering Though there's pain in the offering Blessed be your name Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name You give and take away You give and take away My heart will choose to say Blessed be your name Bless 
Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. <laughs> There's a book called The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein that reminds me a lot of this story. In the book, the tree gave everything it had to a little boy turned man. I highly recommend checking this book out from the library. Now, for today's memory verse. It's from the message version of the Bible. It says, The widow gave extravagantly what she couldn't afford. She gave her all. This one's kind of long, isn't it? So let's all say it together now. The widow gave extravagantly what she couldn't afford. She gave her all. Great job, friends. Keep practicing this week with your grown-ups and let me know how you like the book, The Giving Tree. See you later, alligator. If you like today's show, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. We look forward to seeing you here every Thursday at 4. You can also catch up with Pastor Carmen and Indy every Tuesday at 4 for story time. I hope you had as much fun as we did today. Now I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Carmen to close our service. Hello, friends. Let me offer this prayer as our benediction today. Generous God, we give you thanks for your many blessings. Give us the opportunity to be generous to others in our lives. Amen. Amen. Now stand up, join hands with anyone in the room, and let's sing together in the singing of Shalom. today's episode. Please like and share.